Ooh, yeah. What's going on you guys? Today I want to talk a little bit about something that I find really exciting, at least for me personally. So as you all know, I am a proud owner of this Benchmade Bailout. This is an M4 steel blade, basically meaning it's just a really tough steel. Now I'm no steel junkie, I'm not a steel nerd, I don't know everything there is to know about steel. Depending on the steel that the knife is made out of, kind of determines the knife's capabilities. Anyways, as you all know, if you follow me on my Instagram, I have posted a lot of photos of this knife. This thing is just an absolute workhorse. I have used it quite a bit, taking it on camping trips, just keeping it in my pockets every day, uh, opening boxes, cutting cardboard, even though I know you're not supposed to do that with a knife, but I have done it. I know, I confess. But as it turns out, Benchmade saw the photos that I was posting of this bad boy right here, and they ended up liking him. So one of the marketers at Benchmade, John, hey John, hope you're doing great. He sent me a message reaching out, asked if I wanted to take some more photos for them of some other knives that they would send me. So today we are taking a look at this beautiful S90V steel custom Benchmade. Again, I am no steel junkie, steel nerd, whatever you want to call yourself if you are really into steel. But S90V, it is a very durable steel. I know that a lot of, you know, your premium knives have an S30 or S35 steel. However, this S90V steel is an incredibly edge retaining steel and you don't have to sharpen it as much as you would like an S30V steel. However, with how much harder this steel is compared to an S30 blade, it just means it's gonna be a lot harder to sharpen. Now, even though it's a lot harder to sharpen, it's gonna retain your edge a lot, lot better. And it is also classified, I believe, as a stainless steel because of its high chromium content. So what's great about this knife is that Benchmade now has a service where you can go on their website and custom make your own knife. The bug out is one of the model options that you can choose from. They have a couple other different models that you can choose as well. But if you are a bug out fan, I highly recommend that you go on Benchmade and create your own custom bug out. On this one, we have the carbon fiber scales and they are just so smooth. The feel of the blade in my hand, the knife in my hand, not the blade. Don't hold the blade kids. Uh, but the feel of the scales in my hand, it feels smooth, feels really nice and comfortable. Uh, the ergonomics of the, the handle itself feel really great. I personally don't have a very big hand, but this is the classic bug out size. Now, another awesome detail. As you all know, I am a huge, huge fan of blue. I love the color blue. My Instagram feed has kind of those cold tones to it, but as you can see here, the thumb stud, you have the option to choose the color of your thumb stud. So right here, we got that beautiful blue. Not only with the thumb stud can you choose the colors, but you can also choose the spacer color that's right here along the back ridge and also the butt end of the knife, which is awesome. I love that detail. Now, with the customization option, you can also get a black coated finish with the S90V steel. And you do also have the option to upload your own image that they can etch into the blade like they do with the classic Benchmade Butterfly, which is awesome. I think I wanna custom order another knife in the future here and put my own little logo on the back of the blade here. I think that'd be awesome with my little Viking. And then you can also upload a design. I believe they have a couple different patterns that you can choose from to put on the blade. 
but I think that is just an incredible option that Benchmade has added to their service where you can custom make your own Benchmade. So Benchmade, good job, kudos to you guys. Huge thank you to John from Benchmade. He's one of the digital marketing guys, reached out to me, and got me this blade. Thank you so much, John, I appreciate it. Can't wait to take some more photos of this. So speaking of which, let's go outside, take some photos and uh, maybe put this thing to some use. So let's go do it. So I'm in the yard now, just uh, just walking to the little fire pit I've got over here. Got the axes, cut up a little uh, tinder to start a little fire in this little uber leaving stove that I've got. This is actually a really cool company that you guys should check out if you're into any sort of outdoor, uh, kind of bush crafting, outdoor lifestyle stuff. Um, but yeah. Little guy right here. Right now I've got it on this fire pit. So basically, you cut up a fine little tinder, you stick it in here, and yeah, you got a little stove for your hot water, and then ultimately, for your coffee. So, oh, it's starting to rain. It's starting to rain. Hopefully the camera doesn't get too wet, but I'll see what I can do. Side. Gotta go with the Uber Lieben Durston Cup. Mmm. Ooh, that is dark. I made that very, very dark. Okay, can't just be me, but when you do something outside, it always tastes better, right? Can't beat that. Well, guys, I hope you liked that quick little review. Again, I only just received the knife, so I can't give you, hey, what you barking at? I can't give you, really? So I can't give you a full in-depth review because I haven't used it enough. First impressions, she just will not stop barking. Hey, no, not while I'm recording. But first impressions of the knife are a huge A+. Uh, love the way it feels, love the way it looks. I highly recommend you check out Benchmade's custom knife building option. Uh, give that a look. And if you guys do something uh, with those custom builds, let me know. I'd love to see what you guys make. But I hope you guys liked the video. I'm gonna keep enjoying my coffee and uh, enjoying this rain. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on the bells if you want the notifications to get to you on when I upload and post. Check out my Instagram at jtheviking with an R at the end. But anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Stay awesome, stay beautiful, keep exploring, and keep discovering.